Hello everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to make a fillable form in Microsoft Word like this where you can enter your data. You can also insert a picture where you have check boxes to choose options like male, female over here and also how to make a drop down list where somebody can choose from the given options, a calendar where a date can be inserted from the given drop down. Lastly, we have the options to restrict editing the form so that nobody can change a part of the form. Let's dive into the video to see how this form would be made. I have a Microsoft Word document over here where I have entered some details for, a, for an imaginary computer academy and now I will convert it into a fillable form. A fillable form is the one which you can send to somebody who can enter his or her details and if you want you can restrict editing as well and then send it back to you so that you can collect his or her data. Now to build a form, first we need to activate the developer tab. Just go up above, right click, customize ribbon and here on the right side you can see a developer tab which is right now checked off. Check, now click OK and uh, now here you can see that a developer tab has appeared up above the ribbon. Click over it. On this side, in this particular area, you can see we have some options and we will utilize these to build our form. First off, name. For entering the name, we have two options. Rich text content control and plain text content control. First let me enter plain text content control over here. You can see click or tap here to enter the text. Let's go to the properties mode. You can see we have some options like title takes. You can enter title or take for the form so that if somebody want to get it online he or she can go to the particular database where this form is kept. Similarly show as uh, bounding box start intake bounding box is what it looks right now but if you insert start intake click ok it would look like this but i'm happy with bounding box style you can also change the color whatever color you may like you can insert let me click ok now if you click inside you can enter your detail let me write something this is a plain text in the address i will show you how to insert rich text content control and later on I will elaborate what is the difference between rich text content control and plain text content control. Let me insert rich text content control. I have inserted some details over here and let me show you how these texts are different. Let me highlight if I want to change the color of the first part of my name. Let me show you. You can see I was changing only the first part of the name but font color has been applied to the entire name. This is actually the simple plain text. Now in the rich text, if I'm going to do the same, you would see it would only apply to the selected part. You can see only the first part got red color, not the entire line. Similarly, you can change font, style, change the case, etc. by using rich text content control. In the form, we also require to have a picture. We can insert a picture for this. Keep our cursor right in the middle. Then you can go to the picture content control. Click over it. Picture placeholder is inserted into the document. Now for gender, let me show you how would you go to insert checkboxes. Keep your cursor right behind mail and go up and click on this checkbox content control. Again, keep your cursor behind the word, click and you have the options. Now, any of the boxes can be checked. For father name, I will insert just plain text and I would do the same for roll numbers. Let's suppose we want to have only ninth, strength, first year and second year students in, in New Computer Academy and for this we need to have a drop down menu so that grid option can be chosen. For this we have two options, combo box content control and the other is a drop down list content control. I will elaborate both. First let me insert combo box content control. I have inserted combo box. Let me go up into the properties and here I will add different grades. Click add and write 9th. Click OK. Add 11. OK. You can see we have entered 9th first, then 11th, then 10th. Actually 10th should be above 11th. For this just click on 10th and you can move it up and if you have entered some wrong details you can modify it you can completely remove it as well from this list now click ok and uh, click on this little arrow and you can see you have now a drop down list now let me enter the detail of subjects for this i would go to drop down list content control let me insert drop down list content control again go to properties insert list of the subjects that would be taught at Noor computer academy let me enter something 
I have added some subjects over here. Let me click OK. And uh, now they have been added to subject lists in the drop down menu. You can see we have options working over here. Let me show you what is the difference between these two. Now, in case of grades, we have used this option combo box content control and in case of subjects we have used this drop down list content control so what's the difference in case of grade let me show you with an example we have only these four options to enter but if somebody let's say eighth class student came we want him to be registered then he has the option for example let me enter ninth but the student is date of eighth he can actually modify it let me show you let me delete ninth and i would enter eighth you can see if we have the option to change while in case of subjects if you do the same i have entered graphic designing and i want to change it to physics let me show you you can see it's not working so in case of drop down you cannot add anything extra while in case of combo box content control something extra apart from the given drop down list can be added let's suppose each student enters the date of his or her arrival for this we need to have a calendar over here for this we can go up above and uh, click on date picker content control if you click on this little arrow you can see we have this calendar where we can enter details as per our requirement now our form is almost ready but there is one flaw for example if somebody wants to change the name for example if somebody want to change part of it let me show you name you can see it can be changed in order to sort of this issue we would go up on the ribbon menu you can see restrict editing click on the left side we have some options to work with click on allow allow only this type of editing in the document click on this little arrow just click filling in forms start enforcement yes start enforcing protection click over it now you have been given an option to enter a password you can enter a password but for this particular demonstration i don't need to enter a password so i would click ok now you can only enter details into the given field you cannot change for example the name address or uh, role number etc for example let me show you if you click on address you cannot change it click on gender you can't i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching